Okay, guys, uh, Off Grid Amateur here, creator of the Amicus Smokeless Fire Pits. I want to talk about fire pit security today. Uh, this is um, something that the customer who ordered this fire pit requested. Um, I was looking for ways to make that possible, this sort of ring. And by attaching this ring right here, which is just an inch and a quarter pipe plumbing strap, uh, heavy duty enough, got steel rivets, steel washers to make sure that it doesn't slip or pull through. Uh, it's going through two layers of metal from the, the outer drum and the, uh, the upper section leg. And the reason the customer asked for this, and I used a vinyl coated cable here. I would use, I recommend using either a chain or, or something that is a, um, uh, not, doesn't have this vinyl coating. But uh, the reason they asked for this is, is because they were concerned about fire pit security where they are. They don't want it to uh, grow additional legs and walk away. Um, but they wanted to be able to add this while the fire pit was still hot. Say that if the fire is mostly burned down, it's down to embers, but it's still hot to the touch. So running a cable through the leg and then fishing it between the two layers really isn't an option, uh, just like I illustrated in one of my other videos. So. At the request of the customer, I added this ring. It's very, very rigid, and, you know, and generally thieves are kind of lazy, so if they have to put any kind of effort into it, uh, they'll just move on to an easier easier target and, and go after that one. So when the fire is burnt down, uh, a person can come through and just fish the cable, the looped cable through this leg here. I, I recommend wearing some leather gloves so you don't burn yourself on the fire pit if it's still hot. And then you can fish it up through, um, this loop and then attach your padlock and then have this thing secured so it doesn't uh, walk away so when you get up in the morning and it's there and it's ready to use uh, again it's still there you know it hasn't wandered off in the middle of the night um, but i would not recommend using this cable uh, and attaching this while you have a live fire because this will be led out somewhere and if somebody walks past it and trips on it there's the potential that they could pull the fire pit over, uh, maybe start a fire unintentionally, burn someone. So there's some safety concerns in that respect. So, um, you know, this is just going to give the, uh, the, the owner of the Amicus fire pit, wherever they have it, uh, some added peace of mind. They can go to bed and know that when they wake up in the morning, their fire pit's still going to be there. They spent their hard-earned money on it, and they like to keep it. I don't blame them. So uh, this is a, something that I don't normally add. This is the first time I've done it. So if you want this on your fire pit, you need to let me know when you order. If I don't get specific instructions to add the security ring, I won't put it on your fire pit. Now you could if you forget, and for those that already have them, you could add this. It's like I said, inch and a quarter plumbing pipe strap, readily available at home improvement stores. You know, somebody's got some rivets, you can drill some holes. You can attach this yourself. Rivets secure from one side, they gotta be drilled out. So if you already have one and you wanna add this feature, you know, as long as you have a rivet tool and, and a drill, you can add your own rivets to it and and have that added measure of security. Um, like I said, if, if you don't ask for it, I won't put it on there. If you ask for it, I'll add this feature uh, I don't plan on raising the price any to add this. So this is just a, a nominal cost and just something I want to put on there for the people that want it. Um, but, uh, you know, it's going to give you that added peace of mind. So, um, so if you want it, ask for it. If you don't, you know, just do nothing and you'll just get your basic fire pit. All right. I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch and listen. So um, comment. I need to start putting the links. I gotta, I'm got. i going to add a link to the bottom of this video on where how you can order your Amicus. Uh, send you a link to the Etsy store. You should check out those rev reviews on Etsy too because uh, some of the pictures that people have been sending in have been absolutely phenomenal. And the things that they're saying, if you're not sure, you're still on the fence, um, just take the uh, counsel of people that have currently bought one and uh, see what they have to say about it. You know, So this is that's how it looks from above. I'll just pack this up in the box and uh, make it so that it kind of faces the corner so there's some crumple zone uh keep that from getting hit but that round shape is pretty strong and rigid it's got that bead there so uh so it should be solid all right thanks for listening